Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can compile and run a C++ program from command prompt in Windows 10 operating system. So the first thing that we do here is we will make sure that the C++ toolset is installed in our computer. So click on the start button and search for CMD. Open up the command prompt and in command prompt type in G++ space minus minus version and you will see some version number displayed in here. This G++ is actually a C++ compiler provided by GNU. It is also called as GNU C++ compiler. Now, if you get any error message in here, then it means that the GNU C++ compiler is not installed in your computer. You have to download and install it. And also you need to set the path enrollment variable. I have made a tutorial where I have explained how you can download and install GNU C++ compiler and also how you can set up the path enrollment variable. The link for that tutorial will be available in the description box. You guys can check that out. Now we will close the command prompt. Once we have a C++ toolset installed in our computer, the next thing that we do is we will create a very simple C++ program. So we need to open up any text editor. Since I'm on Windows, we have Notepad, which is available in all Windows uh, editions. Now here, the first thing that we do is we will save this file. So we will click on file and we will click on save. I'm going to save my file in the desktop. And in the desktop, I'm going to create a new folder, right click, new folder. I'm going to call it as C++ programming. And after that, we will open up this folder and inside this folder, we will save the file. Now for the file name, we can give any name. I will say hello.cpp because this program that we are writing will print hello world to the screen. .cpp is the extension for the C++ files. And since we are using the notepad in here, we have to make sure that save as type is all files. Otherwise, it will save the file as a text file. Okay. Once we do that, we will click on save and the file has been saved. Now we can write the program. So the first thing that we do is we will include the IO stream header file. And after that, we will say that we will be using something defined inside the std namespace. So using namespace std. And after that, we will have the main function, which will be the end to point of our program from our perspective. And in this main function, what we do is we will use C out and we will display something to the screen. We will say hello world. After that, we will end that particular line. And then from this function, we will return a value of zero, indicating that this program ran successfully. Now, after writing the program, we will click on file and we will click on save. The file is saved. And after that, we can close this uh, text editor. Now, the file that we have saved is actually present inside the folder called as C++ programming in the desktop. You know, you guys may have saved it in a different location. So all you have to do is go to that particular location and open up the folder where you have saved the file. Now here you guys can see the file hello.cpp. Now what we have to do here is we have to open up the command prompt with this particular location as the path. And one simple trick that we can use here is we will go to this navigation section and we will left click in our mouse. It will highlight the path and we will type in CMD. And after that, we will hit the enter button. It will open up the command prompt in here with the path of the current folder where we are in. So you guys can see desktop C++ programming. Now what we have to do is we have to use the C++ compiler and we have to generate an executable file for the source file called as hello. In a particular tutorial, I have explained all the steps that we have to do in order to generate an executable file from the C++ source file. And almost all compilers provide a single command interface, which will do all those steps 
in the background and it will generate the executable file for us here we have to type in g plus plus space then the name of the file containing the c plus plus program in this case it is hello.cpp if i hit the enter button now nothing happens in the command prompt but if you look at the folder then a new file is created and it is called as a it is an executable file this file is the executable file that is created from the hello.cpp source file now to run this executable file in the command prompt we have to type in a after that hit the enter button and we can see the output of our program which is hello world now if we notice the executable file in here then the name of this executable file is called as a which is the default name because we haven't provided any name if you want to give a name for this executable file to be generated then we can do that now before continuing i'm gonna delete this executable file called as a i'm gonna bring back the command prompt in here so now what we do is we will do the same thing and we will generate the executable file but with a particular name you know whatever the name that we want to give we can give that name for that we have to type in g plus plus space name of the file containing the program in this case it is hello.cpp space minus wo space and then we can provide the name that we want to give for the executable file here i'm gonna say application dot exe okay after that hit the enter button here this minus wo indicates that this is the name that we want to give for the executable file generated after writing the command hit the enter button now nothing happens in the command prompt but if we look at the folder in here we have the executable file generated with the name application now in order to run this application all we have to do is we have to type in the executable file name which is application hit the enter button and we can see the output of the program which is hello world now here while using the c++ compiler to generate the executable file we can provide more uh, flags or more information for example we can specify the standard that we want to use or we can ask the compiler to include the debugging information and also we can uh, ask the compiler to generate any warnings if there is any warning for the program you know all that we can pass in here so this is how we can write a very simple c++ program in windows 10 operating system and this is how we can run that program in command prompt if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video